By the end of this lesson, you should be able to Describe applications of Pascal's principle. Have you seen how a car tire is replaced? Do you know on which principle the hydraulic jack works? Click on the Start button to observe how a hydraulic jack works. When a man presses the pedal, which in turn applies force on the smaller piston, the pressure will be transmitted uniformly without diminishing. Since the area on which the output force is exerted is greater, it acts as a force multiplier. For the pressure to remain constant, if the area is bigger, the force should be greater. The car brakes work on Pascal's principle. Click on the Start button to see how it works. When the brake pedal is pushed, force is applied on the piston, which applies pressure on fluid. According to Pascal's principle, if the fluid is incompressible, the pressure is uniform throughout the pipe. The force is transmitted to the slave piston and thus the brake disc is moved and the car is stopped. What happens if there is a leakage in the tube carrying the fluid? Since there is a leakage in the tube, the pressure applied at the pedal is used to expel some of the fluid out. Thus, the efficiency of the brake system is affected. How do cranes lift such a heavy load? Hydraulic cranes operate using several hydraulic pumps to raise and lower the boom, the outriggers, and also the counterweights. Move the point over the parts to highlight it and read the explanation. The crane operator uses the mechanical controls to operate the hydraulic cylinder and piston. Press the pull and push buttons to see how the hydraulic system works. When the mechanical control is pulled, the spool valve opens the hose that causes the hydraulic liquid to flood the front of the cylinder, causing the piston to move inwards. When the mechanical control is pushed, the spool valve opens another hose that causes the hydraulic liquid to be drained from the front of the cylinder while the other part of the cylinder is filled, so the piston is pushed outwards.